Hello and welcome to the short board on Parsha's Dvar. This week's edition is adapted from Rav Asher Weishlita's Minchas Asher on Chumash. He quotes in Perak Aleph Pasuk Yud, Hashem Elokechem Hirba Eschem Binchem Hayom Kechufei Hashemayim Lerov. Hashem, your God, has multiplied you, and behold, today you are numerous like the stars in heaven. He also quotes in Hosea, Perak Beis, Pasuk Aleph, we're compared there, instead of stars, we're compared to the sand of the sea. The count, the number of the Jews, will be like the sands of the sea. That not, can't be measured. And they cannot be counted. So what is the difference between these two types of counting? One of stars and one of comparing us to the sand. Both of them are talking about how numerous the Bnei Yisrael are and will be. The difference is, says Rabbi Asher Weiss, is that when it comes to the stars in heaven, so that's up in the sky, it's very proud, that's the glory and the covet of the stars. They're part of the, the host of Shemayim, Svoha Shemayim. Meanwhile, the sand is something that we step on, we walk on it, it's on the ground, it's very low. What is the myla of being part numerous like the sand? So the value of the sand is the sand, if you take a piece of sand and bring a little bit of water, it's easy to get the sand to move away. However, when you go to the seashore by the ocean and you have all these pieces of sands, thousands and millions together, they're able to, to unite and prevent the waves, powerful waves of the sea from washing away the shore and coming onto the land. And that is the power of the unity of the sand. And that's why the Jews are not just praised like the brightness and, and the shininess and the greatness of the stars in heaven, but also with the power of the achtos of the sand on the ground, we can accomplish so much. That reminds me of a vort that I saw from, or heard from Rabbi Arya Kersner on Torah Anytime, February 12th, 2020. And it talks about a, a Meshach Chachma that says, in Parshish Yisro, we had the words that the Jews responded, Nasa, we will do. And then in Parshish Mishpatim, we have the famous Naseh Nishma, we will do and we will listen. What is the discrepancy? Why are they different? So the Mesha Chachma explains that a person cannot do every single mitzvah by himself because certain mitzvahs are for Kohanim, certain mitzvahs are done only in Eretz Yisrael. But, so how can they be, be accomplished by each individual? There is a way. Actually, there's two ways. The first way is by learning the halachos of every mitzvah, it is as if you fulfilled that mitzvah. And the second way is by having achthas. When Jews are united, then the mitzvah of one counts for the other. And therefore, the Kohanim will do certain mitzvahs, the people living in Eretz Yisrael will do certain mitzvahs, the Levim will do their mitzvahs, everyone will play their role, and together we will get credit for all the mitzvahs. And that's what it's talking about in these two different places. One, Parshish Yisro, it says, all the Jews answered together in unity. Therefore, they only need Nasa. All they had to do was the mitzvahs that they're responsible for, and because of the power of unity, they were able to, as if it were, that they did all the mitzvahs. However, when it came to Mishpatim, it doesn't say that they were united. Therefore, they needed not just Nasa doing the mitzvahs themselves, but Nishma, which is the, the, the teaching and the learning of Torah. And by doing that, then they were able to fulfill all the mitzvahs. So we see from here the power of unity, that we should be like the sand as well as the stars. We'll be up in the sky bright, and we'll be down united together on the earth, and we'll achieve, achieve so much. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.